Now, a pioneering piece of equipment in Kent is hoping to turn the tide of plastic pollution. Globally, we produce around 300 million tonnes of plastic waste a year. Researchers estimate 60% of all plastic made since the 1950s has ended up in landfill or remains in the natural environment. And each year, 100,000 animals in the sea are killed by plastic. But the revolutionary machine claims to be the first in the world that can turn plastic back into the oil from which it was made and it's right here in the southeast in Longfield. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin took an exclusive look at the plans. Soft plastic, bags and the like which usually go to incineration, landfill or at worst into the sea. This unique piece of equipment will now demonstrate how it can be turned into a synthetic crude oil. First of all, it has to be shredded. It's extremely clever and what it's actually doing is feeding it slowly into an electronically powered um, thermal kettle. So the thermal kettle will run up to about 450 to 500 degrees and what it's actually doing is paralysing the plastic. So the long hydrocarbon chains which make up the plastic are broken down, effectively reversing production. The resulting gas is mostly condensed into oil. So this is the oil that's come out. It can now be recycled straight back into the plastic making process. And it can also be used to generate energy. And because the oil was purified before it became plastic, the emissions are 75% less than the crude that comes out of the ground. This is just a small demonstration machine with just one twentieth of the output of a planned complete operation, which will be capable of producing at least 5,000 litres of oil a day from five tonnes of plastic. It's here to save the world from plastic, isn't it? And you hear all this bad news about plastic in oceans and plastic going to abroad and the, the people abroad cherry pick the, the good plastic and the rest gets literally thrown into the ocean. Plastic is, is good when it's used correctly and if we can recycle it, we can turn it back into oil and then crack it back into plastic. All very exciting. Development took some eight years, but multiple machines are already in the making to create complete plastic cycles of life. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, near Dartford.